next essay we are going to discuss is a study in the UK essay. So with the study in the UK essay, the question is, outline why you have selected your chosen three university course and explain how this relates to your previous academic or professional experience and your plans for the future. Please enter new information and examples here and not duplicate the information you have entered on the work experience and education section in this form. So with this question, some of the questions that you can also generate for you to help you in writing this essay is um, why do you want to study in the, in the UK and how does it align with your academic and career goals? You can begin to mention the course that you did in your undergraduate studies and why the courses that you've selected to do in the UK would help you for you to develop on that and how the future goals or aspirations that you have would be able to align with what you want to study um, in the UK currently. So think about the UK in general, um, your motivation um, or inspiration. Do you know someone who has studied in the UK and maybe some um, important things that if they've done in a community, how impactful the education in the UK has been to the community and the people you know. You can take those in, um, motivation and discuss it that I know of a brother, I know of an uncle, I know of this person who studied in the UK and currently doing this project or currently having engaged in this project, which is making a lot of impact in society. And so I believe that the education in the UK has contributed to what the person is currently doing, that is what is motivating you to choose UK as your study um, destination. And you know about the UK's maybe higher education, the quality of the higher education, the universities, and then their quality research, quality graduates, their global ranking. And so begin to look around what UK universities are currently um, known for and discuss it in general. They are among the best universities in the world. Um, the graduates are also of high quality. They have the global presence. And whilst you are thinking about these academic aspects, the rankings of the universities, the QS ranking scores, we have the Times Higher Education ranking. So all these things are what um, is being used to rank universities globally. So think around how you can discuss this. And there are some of the non-academic aspects about UK that you can also mention, which is maybe because the UK is an English speaking country, maybe because they have the multicultural system that every culture is accepted within the UK, or maybe um, the fact that you have communities within the UK that would, or you have maybe people from your local community having to create a community within the, within the UK so you will feel belonged. And so these are some of the things you can think about and discuss why you want to study in the UK. The next question you can think of or a tip that can generate your um, thinking in writing this essay is, what research have you done on UK institutions and why? are the courses you've selected the best fit for your aspirations. So for that, you can begin to think about the QS rankings course, the higher education university ranking, the Guardian University league table, developmental rankings, and then employability, student satisfaction, research output. These are some of the things you can use to discuss why you've selected a specific university. So visit the university's about page and look out for what they are known for and begin to use that in a discussion and write out the essay. Do not just copy and paste. When you copy and paste, they, it's easy for them to um, know that. Write about something about them. It can be the department, it can be the specific course is ranked higher in all universities ar around the UK. And it can also be that there is a professor or a researcher in that field within that university and maybe their research interest aligns with yours. That is why you want to study in that specific university. Or maybe um, some of the modules of that courses you've selected will be able to help you for you to gain a specific skill or knowledge you need in order to implement 
the developmental project you will intend to embark on upon your return in your home country. So you can pick maybe two of these modules and how it's going to equip you with information, the skill and knowledge that you can use in impacting or implementing a specific project in your community. So these are some of the things that you can highlight on the reasons why you've selected these three courses and universities in the UK. So the Chevening Scholarship is going to allow you to select three university or courses, university courses and the university. So you can discuss the other things that we've looked at. You can pick maybe two or three different sections and discuss in each of the school. So maybe school one or course one, you can discuss the departments, the course. And uh, in course two, you can discuss maybe the modules that you want to get or you want to gain a specific skill. And maybe course three, you can also look at the specific professor whose research aligns with yours. So begin to think around this. When concluding, you can discuss and demonstrate the reasons why you need the specific skills which you can gain in the modules and how that is going to enable you to contribute or to be able to implement the specific goal that you have upon your return in your personal and the community um, goal that you've set for yourself. Now, the last essay is about career plans. So with the career plans, Chevenin is asking this question. Chevenin is looking for individuals who have clear post-study career plan. Please outline your immediate plans upon returning home and your longer career plans or goals. You may wish to consider how these relate to what the UK government is doing in your country. So taking it from the last sentence, you may want to relate to what the UK um, government is doing in your home country. Begin to think about or type in some of the projects that the UK government is currently undertaking in your community or in your current, um, in your country. And when you look at these projects, think of how you can connect your individual projects or how you can connect the impact that you want to make and how it's going to align to the bigger UK um, projects that they are currently undertaking in your country. So some of the questions you can begin to think about to help you to generate this essay, um, they include what are your career aspirations and how will this scholarship help you to achieve them? So begin to brainstorm what are your current goals, what are your next two to five to ten year goals, career plans that you have for yourself and also the community projects that you intend to embark on. What skills or knowledge do you expect to gain from the studies in the UK that will be critical to your career success? Think about it. Do you have a specific skill that you need to gain? Do you have specific knowledge that you need to gain? Do you have an exposure that you need to be exposed to for you to have an idea or overview on how you can contribute or implement this specific career plan or community project? Now, after you've given this brief discussion in your intro or in your introduction in the body, you can then begin to outline your career goals in the next two years, five years, and then 10 years. That's the long-term goals. So the short-term goals, the immediate goals, maybe upon your return, you can think of doing something that is very quick and does not need several resources for it to be executed. And this can include maybe setting up a community um, invite, or it can be maybe training your immediate colleagues, having seminars, conferences, or in the community can be having a community gathering and maybe initiating or discussing your projects that you intend to initiate in the community. So once you've done this in the immediate term, let's say your first, maybe zero to maybe one to two years. You've done that maybe a couple of times, you've created awareness. The next thing you can think of is discuss the short-term goals or the medium-term goals. The short-term or the immediate ones will be initiating the community um, visits and also maybe doing conferences and training your immediate um, colleagues or coworkers. 
the medium term goal will be let's say um, one to two years that is maybe because you've gained your you've gotten your master's degree you may want to apply for maybe a managerial role or a role that is higher than what you were when you left to do your master's so that it can be part of maybe policy making to influence some decisions to contribute to your bigger professional goals that you intend to implement and in your community as well maybe you want to go for a community um, leadership role to be able to help you to get in touch with some important people within the community and maybe to be able to reach a wide organization who can come to your aid for the projects that you want to implement. The next one is discussing your long-term goals. So long-term goals can be maybe um, trying to get maybe a public office um, role or maybe job or maybe applying for your profession specific leadership role to be able to implement the kind of policies or the good projects or intents that you have for the community and your profession. So discussing that, another question you can think about is how will you apply these skills gained through this scholarship to create a positive impact in your community? Be thinking around how your specific skills, your knowledge that you've gained can translate in what you want to do for your community and the people around you in general. So in closing or in writing the conclusion for this um, particular essay, the career plan, you can discuss the fact that you've realized that your goals may be a bit um, too big or it may be ambitious. However, you believe that the appropriate networking, the collaboration, reaching out to high organizations, the skills you've gained, the knowledge, will be able to set you in the right um, order or be able to set you in the right way or be able to build a foundation for you to be able to implement the set projects or the intentions and um, the set projects or the career goals that you want for yourself so your career plan you can be you want to either go into academia, become um, a tutor um, in your profession that you want to also help the next generation within your profession. It can be anything. Think of how you can align these goals upon your return, your short term, your medium term, your long term goals. So this covers the discussion or some tips that I wanted to share with you in terms of the Chevron Scholarship. I hope you're going to make use of this information and at least generate uh, personalized um, essays so that you can stand apart from every other person. The reason why I couldn't give specifics is because once you give specifics, there are several people who will be taking these examples and everyone is going to copy the same thing. Therefore, the reason why I'm sharing these questions and pointers, generate your own question, align your essays, give it to someone else for them to read through for you. And if possible, reread it more than once or twice and ensure that every other document that you are being asked for, you can submit it on time. I wish you all the best and I can't wait to celebrate your success. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.